So I got his feelings gone. I was 10 in the spring. 10 let me hold it. So he ain't put. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge from the sidelines. DA, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Kevin Durant is a champion, but he said, growing up, I never thought about titles. I just wanted to be the best player I could be. When I got to the league, I was listening to all the noise and it was taking control of my mind. For me, mentally, I have to just focus on my craft. Guys, the results have flown since then. Clearly. David, thank you. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Brooklyn, right now they're in seventh in the conference, looking to build on their record. And, of course, Detroit, they find themselves in the dregs of the conference. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Joe Harris is out there with Mills, then it's Durant, then there's Brown, and it's Claxton in at the center filling out the middle. And for the Pistons, Bay and Grant are the forwards. He's out there with Cunningham, and it's Stewart in at the five, roaming the paint. And already, Greg, we're seeing some of the new wrinkles that players have added to their games. No doubt. The, the work doesn't end when the season does. And if you're trying to improve your skills or if you're trying to pack on good weight that kind of stuff needs to get done during the offseason and so off the tip it's Brooklyn KD looking around pass to Harris two points that one goes Harris has got his team on the board to start the game for Brooklyn. Well, you put it away inside. Harris known for his distance shooting, but you love to see him willing to get inside and make easy ones. Stewart with the screen on Durant. Grant the pass to Stewart. Plays it up off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here is Durant, following the bucket by the Pistons. Pass to Claxton. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. I'll tell you this, Kevin Durant is an underrated passer, and he has really shown a new level where that's concerned. Hayes, the pass to Bay. Back to Hayes. Pistons passing it around. Passes it to Bay. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Harris. He can't get that one to fall. The Nets go the other way with it. Last time they met was in Brooklyn. And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. That pass into the paint, that is a work of art there. Dead on target. Stewart, a screen for Hayes. And it's blocked. And they get it back. Bay against Harris. Second chance shot. No good off the back of the rim. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. He hits Brown with the drive. Rebound, Detroit, coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Man, that... goes 
down to the wire. Both teams exhausted, but only one has something left for the encore. You know, that one's a tough one to take. You force the extra session, and then you have the heartbreak of not being able to get it done in the extra session. Brutal. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. Claxton the pass to Harris. Fires from deep. Bay pulls it in. The Pistons trailing. They're about three minutes into this first quarter. Cunningham with it. He's picked up by KD. Hayes, no good. For Brooklyn, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. And here is Durant. 23 points his last outing. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Bay finds Grant. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Brooklyn with the ball. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. You cannot allow your opponent to shoot that high a percentage. That is going to get you beat night after night. For Detroit, they've gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Hey, gets the bucket. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. Let's pause to take a look at the teams that were tops in field goal percentage last season. Number one, the Nets. They were remarkable in terms of their efficiency. on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, they did a great job of finding the open man and working for great looks. Really just an unselfish group. Durant against Grant. Durant kicks to Harris. Back to Durant. Here he goes. And there's the pass to Mills. Sinks the three-pointer. And that's exactly what he's looking for draining the triple. Pistons trail by three. Pass to Bay. Grant surveying the D. Bay passes to Grant. Kicks it to Cunningham. Let's it go from deep. That one misses. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. And the great thing about Durant, he gives you a lot of everything. Yeah, it goes way beyond being versatile. This guy is a great shooter, an elite historical scorer, rebounder, passer, shot blocker, one of the most complete players in the history of the game. Mills, that's a two-pointer. Can't nail the jump. That's one he knows he should have drained. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Pass to Bay. Over Claxton. Misses off the right iron. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Mills in the corner. And the Nets, another three. Oh, the defense has to stay attached to him on the perimeter. Pistons trail by six. Cunningham with it. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. Stewart, a screen for Bay. Passes it to Stewart. A rebound by the Nets. Harris has got his fourth rebound in this one. Brown finds Durant. Here's Claxton. Now Mills. Six points for him. It's Cunningham with the rebound. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. 
Now here's Hayes, covered by Mills. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Well, the length and athleticism that Jeremy Grant possesses puts the defense in a tough spot. That's nice. The Pistons shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. The free throw drops for Grant. Well, I like how Jeremy Grant continues to work on his game. The jumper is coming along, and he remains an exceptional defensive player. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Olenek is checked in for Stewart. Diallo comes in for Hayes. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Cunningham. Drummond's checked in for the Nets. Curry comes in for Harris. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Drummond dishes to Curry. He takes it in. Mills in the corner. And it's off from three-point range. Pistons trail by four. Here's Bay. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. And Joe Linick. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Well, you can't force, you can't rush. Olenek biding his time and stays calm as the clock is dwindling. Now here's Mills. He's covered by Joseph. Outside Curry. Brown outside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And the Nets lead by five. Now here's Joseph. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And it's Grant in the corner. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Nets leading by five. Curry deciding where to go with it. Here's Mills. Rebounded by the Pistons. And here is Grant. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. A kicks to Olenek. To the right side. And here's Joseph for three. It's Drummond with the rebound. Nets have gone 6 of 13 from the field. Just under the 50% mark. Mills in the corner. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. That's his first foul. A uh, different look here for Detroit. Arvin Bagley comes in for Grant, and it's Jackson in for Bay. Then for the Nets, Griffin's checked in for Durant. The bodyguard comes in for Bruce Brown, and it's Drogic in for Patty Mills. There's Drogic with the three. It's hauled in by Diallo. Pistons trail by five. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Addition out to Joseph. The pass to Olenek. Shot clock at six. Unable to get that one. The Nets go the other way with it. Griffin passes to Dragic. Back to Griffin. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And for a player with Blake Griffin's physical makeup, it was a big adjustment when he had to deal with injury issues. And he's really had to reshape his body and his game. At the line, the two. And he makes the first. And one thing about Griffin and the injuries, Greg, that he went through, he did everything he could to get his body back to where it needed to be. And he didn't care what it was, yoga, weights, conditioning, you name it, because he knows how important it is to be able to elevate. And Griffin needs to be explosive, and he'll work 24-7 to make sure he is. Now here's Joseph. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. 
Drummond working against Olenek. Back to Joseph. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Now, Corey Joseph does not lack for confidence on the interior. Don't let the size fool you. The frame, the game, it's all there. Back to Curry. Pass to the body. Dishes it to Dragic. Griffin a screen on Jackson. It's Dragic with the drive. Count that one. And the Nets lead by seven. Nice move there by Dragic. Navigating the paint well to find himself an open look. Outside Jackson. And here's a Olenek from the arc. It's good for a second make. He's made two or three so far. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. They double team Kirk. Nets passing it around. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Well, Seth Curry with the answer and the payback from distance. What a competitor. Jackson passes to Joseph. And Olenek kicks to Jackson. Olenek sets a screen for Jackson. Back to Olenek. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. Is now three for four to start this game. Clearly, the confidence is already building. Pass to Dragic. 55 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. The shot's good from Griffin. Just so well coordinated there. Great hands, and then Griffin's such a good finisher out of that pick and roll. Hagley kicks to Jackson. to Bagley on the wing Jackson Olenek a screen on Kirk Jackson off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt and those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half outside Dragic Curry setting the pick for Dragic back to Curry 17 seconds left in the first quarter. Griffin with the steal. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And that's just too easy. When Griffin gets to that area of the floor, expect him to finish. Right side, Joseph. Shoots over Trogic. Off target there with the little leaner. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Nets lead by seven. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. All right. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Nets. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. And it's Cunningham with the ball for the Detroit Pistons. Seven-point differential. Their next game is at the Rockets Arena in Houston for a game with the Rockets. That one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Setting the floor for the Nets. They've got Harris. Duran is out there with Brown. Then there's Drogic. And it's Claxton in at the five. And nice pass by Grant. And, and this is what happens when you become a great scorer. You draw defenders, which often leaves someone open. Now here is Harris. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Brooklyn Nets are creating a fresh legacy. Kevin Durant says it's new energy. We're one of the first teams in Nets history where fans are expecting us to do good things. The basketball culture is deep in Brooklyn, and they're looking for a team to latch on to. Well, guys, it looks like they found a good one. 
I agree, David. Thanks. Well, we think of Durant as a naturally gifted scorer. Fact is, this guy understands how to get his teammates open. Pistons trail by seven. Hayes with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Stewart with the screen on Harris. Grant goes in, and the dunk by Grant. Well, how about the opportunistic Jeremy Grant taking it strong on the drive. Love it. Nets leading by five. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. They set the screen. Harris's shot is off. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Cunningham passes to Hayes. Now, here's Grant. On deep, and Detroit with another turnover here. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for Detroit. On Wednesday, they'll start out on the road and play the Rockets in Houston. Then on Friday, they'll take on Kevin Love and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And, you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. And it's Dragic off the drive, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And throughout his career, Dragic has been a leader. It's a natural fit for him. Duncan Robinson called him the ultimate leader. Dragic, leader of his national team for a decade now. God just embraces the responsibility of it all. No good on that one. And Dragic out of Miami is part of the Kyle Lowry sign and trade. Had a brief stop in Toronto, but made it clear he didn't want to be a part of that situation. Ended up here in what he feels is one better suited to his talents. Bays checked in for Bagley. And Greg, you made your money on the defensive end. What was the toughest kind of player to defend? A one-on-one -on -one guy or a, or a constant movement type of player? Uh, I've always will say that it's harder to guard movement. You know, as a defender, you're, you, you drill a lot about guarding the basketball. But when a guy is great without it, man, that is the hardest job you can have defensively. And the Nets with possession here. After the basket by Detroit, Dragic with a screen for Harris. Passes it to Claxton. Outside Dragic. Three pointers off the mark. Pistons trail by four. And Cunningham gets it to go on the assist by Grant. Grant's got three assists tonight. Brooklyn's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Huggett's looking it over. Now Harris. It's hauled in by Stewart. Stewart's got four rebounds now tonight. Now here's Cunningham. Tight defense on him. Bay with a screen on Katie. From the arc. 
Another three for Detroit. And Grant's such a versatile player. He can do a little bit of everything, including setting up his teammates. Dragic finds Durant. Dragic with a screen for Durant. Back to Dragic. Three-pointer. It's Cunningham with the rebound. The Pistons on offense. They're on an 11-3 run right now. Bay passes to Cunningham. Grant outside. This one for three. Traps in the tray. And it's a four-point Piston lead. Oh, great ball movement there. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Mills, he's checked in for the Nets. KD. No good on the three. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Cunningham passes to Bay. Into the lane. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And the pass to KD. Shoots over Grant. KD can't get it to go. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. He gets that one. I'll tell you, he's playing with much more discipline here in the second quarter. He is waiting for good opportunities and capitalizing. Looking to end the run, Durant. And Kevin Durant signing an extension this past offseason. Locked in with the Nets for the next four years. Seems like there's a very good chance Durant could end his career in Brooklyn. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Pistons. We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in the first half. Well, you know, another thing they've been having success with has been the three-point shot. And KD drops them both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Oh, here's Hayes, covered by Mills. Drives to the hoop. The shot's good from Hayes. Hayes has got the lead up to eight now for Detroit. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. And here's Mills for three. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Durant's got four assists in the game. Pistons leading by five. Here's Cunningham. A kicks to Cunningham. Back to Bay. Over to the wing. Lock at six. Here's Grant. And it's sent back by KD. This is probably the aspect as his career has gone on where Kevin Durant has improved the most. The defensive end, he is a real factor. And Harris, wide open, he shoots off target with his three. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. And they recover it. Grant the pass to Cunningham. Shot clock at five. Here's Grant. Again, the miss by Grant. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Here is no good. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. 
Grant in the post. Guarded by Harris. Grant. That's good. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. So Detroit going with an almost entire new group here. Kelly Olenek checked in for Stewart. Diallo comes in for Sadiq Bey. Fred Jackson, he's checked in for Hayes. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Cunningham. And a new group in for the Nets. Drummond's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Blake Griffin comes in for Kevin Durant. Bodyguards checked in for Bruce Brown. And it's Seth Curry in for Harris. Okay, Kelly Olenek getting up high for that rejection. At seven feet, that length comes in handy. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. You got to be in control when you go to the rack, and he was not. You can't just run guys over. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And this is how you protect and grow a lead, by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Here's the bodyguard. No points in the game yet for him. Drummond with a screen on Jackson. Outside for Griffin. There's the three. Rebounded by the Pistons. Grant's got four rebounds now tonight. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Olenek sets a screen for Grant. Right side, Joseph. Brooklyn with the rebound. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Curry dishes to Mills. Over Joseph. And that one goes long. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Grant against Curry. Grant, right side, over Curry. And again, it's the Pistons missing. Nets trail by seven. Pass to the body. Back to Curry. Offensive rebound. Roman finds Griffin. Oh, good with the triple. And you can tell right there, the defense is totally fine with him shooting that. That's not his game. Master Grant. Master Olenek lets it go with the three. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. The pass to Mills. To end the drought. Can't hit that one. The Pistons go the other way with it. Jackson down low. Curry meets him. Off with the layup. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They trail by seven. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Curry passes to Mills. He gets hauled in by Diallo. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Going inside. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Andre Drummond picks one up. And Doris, the man who dunked on Shaq back in the 2019 dunk contest, Hamadou Diallo, has great athleticism, as we saw. Oh, no doubt. And not just vertically, guys. Like, he is elite with his wingspan. You know, the question for him, because of his perimeter shooting, can he be consistent enough to get himself between the lines for consistent stretches? But athletically, he's a fit in the NBA. Bagley, he's checked in for Detroit. He's perfect from the line this time. Nets trail by nine. Curry on the wing. Guarded by Jackson. And Joseph gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Goran Dragic is checked in for Patty Mill. Coming on to the floor for the Nets. 
136 left in the second quarter. Drummond with a screen on Bagley. Here's Griffin. The kick out to Dragic. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Outside, Joseph. Bagley with a screen on Dragic. Olenek in the corner. Pass to Bagley. Six to shoot. Shot from six. Shoots over Dragic. Bagley, no good. Nets trail by nine. The Nets working the ball around now. Here's Curry. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Jackson against Curry. Jackson kicks to Bagley. Plays it up and banks it in. Bagley's got four points in the quarter. And at this stage, this is where Bagley feels most comfortable. I mean, he knows he has the size and touch to score inside. Now here's Griffin. His last outing, he had eight points. Drummond finds Griffin. Drummond sets the screen for Griffin. And he drives in. Back to Drummond. Pulls up on the wing. Rebound by Olenek. olenek has got his fifth rebound in this one. Back to Joseph. Got it up. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so we conclude the first half. The Pistons on top. They're up by 11. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks. Dwayne, you're ahead. How do you keep this up for the rest of the game? Well, uh, maintain the disposition. I think we got to have a tough mental disposition against this team because they're going to keep playing. They know how to play the physical game. We did a good job in that half. We've got to maintain that. Okay, thanks for your time. Back to you. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And as we welcome you to the studio, we call your attention to the top performers for each team in the first half. We've got a heavyweight clash on our hands. This is a star-driven league. you got two fierce leaders going head-to-head, -head, both guys trading blows as each one tries to will his own team to victory. So get some fresh popcorn ready. And now let's talk about that first half. Everything falling into place for the Detroit Pistons. They're in good shape thanks to the work they're doing on the glass. Uh, their effort has been excellent. The numbers are too. And I don't see those numbers dropping off. They're going to keep doing the dirty work in the second half. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at Jeremy Grant, what a contribution. Well, he was putting on a passing clinic in that first half, set up a lot of their mates. Uh, doing such a great job of orchestrating this offense. I love the way he has been in complete command of the offense. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Third quarter action getting rolling right now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. And Detroit, looking at who they've got. Bay and Grant are the forwards. Cunningham is out there with Hayes. And it's Stewart in at the pivot, manning the middle. Nets trail by 11. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. The Pistons shooting in this game, 45%. Cunningham passes to Hayes. Grant outside. Out to the wing. Now, here's Cunningham. He's covered by Brown. Releases. Cunningham's shot is off. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. 
Detroit leading by 11. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you for the baton, Kevin. Kyrie Irving, of course, marches to the beat of his own drum. At times, that might rub people the wrong way. But Kyrie says, I've learned lessons from it. That's the most beautiful and exciting part, just the growth. What I'm saying is, it's always been bigger than the game for me. And guys, you have to respect his willingness to go it alone. You do indeed, DA. Thank you for that portrait. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And so he hits both. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. On the wing, Harris. Pass to Claxton. The three. And again, it's the Nets missing. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And that one, good. Hayes has got his second bucket of the game to go. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Here's Claxton. Now here's Durant. Shoots over Grant. High quality look and he sinks it. Kevin Durant does such a good job of reading the defense and attacking any weakness he might anticipate. Now here's Hayes. He's tightly guarded. May kicks to Hayes. Passes to Cunningham. Shoots over Brown. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Cunningham's got his second bucket of the night. And it's Mills with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. 15-point game. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. KD against Stewart, and he gets it to go. Durant's got six. That's just such confidence when Kevin Durant gets into that mid-range jumper. Like, forget about it, defense. It's over. Now the pass to Bay. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Bay with a screen on Durant. Grant with the ball. Picked up by Harris. Bay wide open, and he fired. Knocks down the three ball. Ten points for him. And, and ever since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. I got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. Now here's Durant. Six points for him. Well that's just inconsistency from him and it's happened all night and it hasn't helped their cause. Pass to Bay from deep three point range. The Pistons keeping it alive. A new 14. Stewart and the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. Yeah, they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. At the line for one. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. And here's Mills. He's got nine. And there's the drive. Pass to Claxton. And here's KD for three. Bay pulls it in. Bay's got five rebounds tonight. He dishes it to Hayes. Back to Bay. Fires the three. The shot will not fall. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. 
And a fortunate turn of events for Brown last year. Dorsey was traded from one of the worst teams to one of the best. And what I respect is how scrappy, how hard playing, how defensive minded a guard this guy is. But he's also willing to fit perfectly around Nick. stars. He finds a way to do all the dirty work and make himself a factor. Pistons leading by 17. Bay with a screen on Brown. Fires from the wing. Here's Stewart. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. The Pistons on offense. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Bay passes to Hayes. Bay with a screen on Brown. And Hayes kicks to Cunningham. Off target from outside. Nets trail by 19. Brown outside. And the shot goes in. Brown's got seven points in the game. The Pistons have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Stewart, a screen for Grant. Inside. And Stewart gets it to go. He's got 13. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Here's Harris. It's hauled in by Stewart. Stewart's got 11 rebounds in the game. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Now here's Hayes. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. This is at the bay. Just five to shoot. Over Mills. Bay, no good. Brooklyn's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. The blocking foul is called as the shot goes down. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Pistons. They've been penetrating with a certain amount of ease, guys, just as much in this half as the first. They've also done a really good job working in the low post tonight. Those points have been big for them. Looking at who's out there now for the Pistons. Kelly Olenek checked in for Stewart. Bagley comes in for Grant. Diallo's checked in for Hayes. And it's Joseph in for Cunningham. And that one misses. Detroit leading by 17. Outside, Joseph. Back to Bay. He kicks to Joseph. Hagley with a screen on Drogic. Here's Joseph. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Pistons lead by 19. Uh, you just need to have a high level of basketball IQ in the pick and roll. Corey Joseph, step to the mic, sir. Trogic with it, picked up by Bagley. Trogic gets the bucket. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Bagley sets a screen for Bay. Outside, Bagley. Diallo, the pass to Olenek. Over Claxton. And the basket by Olenek. Olenek's got nine. Well, a nice effective mid-range game by Kelly Olenek. Just a gorgeous release. Round against Bay. Round with it. Seven points in the game. Now Curry. Right side Griffin. Let's the three fly. Bay pulls it in. Joseph, the pass to Olenek. Outside for Bagley. There's the pass to Bay. Nice ball movement by Detroit. And the Pistons getting another bucket right there. You know, I like the fact that Olenek didn't shy away from mixing it up. Remarkable at scoring despite getting hit. Griffin passes to Claxton. Back to Griffin. 
Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. Joseph sets a screen for Bay. Pass to Diallo. Here's Bay. He's got 10. Now, here's Bagley. Puts up a three. Diallo, no good. Curry outside. Let's keep it alive. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Bay with a screen on Dragic. Pass to Bay. To the paint. Here's Olenek. And that one hits back iron. Has to be smarter, guys. I mean, we all know he can make that shot, but the defense was in his grill. Claxton the pass to Dragic. Jacks up a three. A shot missing. And it's Detroit the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Here's Bay. Oh, good on the triple. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Trailing by 17. Curry setting the pick for Dragic. Outside for Curry. Yep, that one goes in there. Curry's got five points so far. They are just killing them on the interior. Pass to Joseph. Bagley with a screen on Dragic. Outside, Bagley. Offline with his three. Nets trail by 15. The pass to Griffin. Outside, Dragic. Back to Curry. A three. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Dragic has got his third assist on the night. Time out. Detroit making a switch here. Jackson's checked in. Then for the Nets, Drummond's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. The bodyguard comes in for Bruce Brown. And it's Mills in for Goran Dragic. One forty-four left in the third. And here is Joseph. The feed to Olenek. Mills with the steal. In transition, here come the Nets. That cuts the lead to single digits. Curry's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Nets. Boy, had this shot on automatic. The confidence so crucial to what Seth Curry brings to the table. Bounce pass, Joseph. Drummond working against Olenek. 
to stop the drought. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's the bodyguard. And that one is hammered home. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Now, here's Joseph, covered by Mills. Bagley sets a screen for Olenek. Here's Jackson, fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Well, just tremendous composure on the interior. Read the defense, take advantage of the situation, and deliver. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. At the line for your piston. One shot. Craig Jackson. One shot. And that one falls for Jackson. Impeccable hook from the line since halftime. Curry against Jackson. Curry dishes to Mills. Off target from three-point range. And guys, this has got to be more of a team effort. Right now, he's playing all for himself. Jackson passes to Olenek and stolen by Drummond. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Griffin with the ball. And the call will be against Marvin Bagley. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Seventeen seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Mills passes to Drummond. Griffin with it. Lobbed up there for Drummond. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And so it's the Detroit Pistons going into the break with a 10-point lead. Defensively, they have had their sights set on Kevin Durant, and they've done a terrific job holding him in check. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. Come on, fans! And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. So for Brooklyn now, the small and power forwards are Harris and Durant. Curry is out there with Mills, and it's Drummond in at the five, down low. Now here's Durant. Shoots over Grant. They get it back. Drummond in the post, guarded by Stewart, and the officials call him for a three-second violation. Pistons leading by 10. Now Hayes. Pass to Stewart. Grant with the ball. He's picked up by Drummond. Here's Cunningham. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. And it's blocked. And now the Pistons fast break. Grant leading the charge. The shot's good. And the Pistons lead by 12. To me, this is where Jeremy Grant can really flourish. In transition in the open floor, use that speed, sir. And here's Mills for three. Trains the three-pointer. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Hayes, the pass to Stewart. Over to the left wing. Now, here's Cunningham, guarded by Kerr. From the high post, Cunningham's shot is off. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot 
they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now here's Hayes. Now the dish to Grant. Shoots over Curry. Grant gets to Hayes. To the wing on the left. Here's Olenek. Rebounded by the Nets. Drummond's got 11 rebounds in the game. Now here's Mills, covered by Hayes. Driving inside. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Hayes checked in for Kelly Olynyk, And the Nets making a change here as well. Brown's checked in. Mills looking it over for three. Harris rebound by the Pistons. Stewart's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Hayes the pass to Bay. Katie against Grant. It's Hayes top of the key. Detroit no good that time either. Nets trail by nine. Katie finds Mills back to Durant. There's a screen. Fires for three. It's hauled in by Stewart. Stewart's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Here's Cunningham. Hayes trying to break through. A rebound by the Nets. I'll tell you, he has looked just a step slow all game, but his teammates, boy, have they come through. Back to KD. Pass to Harris. Here's the three. Good on the triple. Puts one in the eye of the defense. First triple of the evening. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Guys, I was able to listen in on what Blaine Casey went over with his team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Now, here's Cunningham. Passes it to Stewart. They could use a bucket. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Mills passes to Drummond. It's deflected. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. And Brooklyn making a change here. Claxton's checked in. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. The pass to Bay. Cunningham sets a screen for Bay. Shoots the three. A rebound by the Nets. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? Looking to get it going. And it's Durant playing it in. Well, don't you love it when Durant is mixing it up on the interior, using his size to his advantage. And Hayes kicks to Grant. Now, here's Cunningham. He's covered by Brown. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. I uh, wish I could see why. <laughs> that was pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Here's Mills. And it's blocked. Now, here's Bay. Kicks to Cunningham. Stewart with the screen on Harris. Cunningham passes to Stewart. And the dunk by Stewart. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. And here's Mills. Pass to KD. Over Grant. 
That one's good, and the Piston lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Durant. You've got to have a short memory. Put a core first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Now, here's Cunningham. Shoots over Brown. It's hauled in by Harris. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same, and largely a no-show right here. Durant in the corner, and he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Yep, that one goes. Uh, and just willing to take chances defensively pays off in a transition basket. That is quick defense to offense. These guys are such terrific athletes. You can't let your guard down. Durant, the pass to Mills. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Mills has got five points now this quarter. Vital basket there. This is just the time and really just the situation when he looks to take over. Grant against KD. Right wing. Cunningham passes to Stewart. Shoots over Mills. And Stewart gets it to go. Stewart's got 19 points. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. On the way, Harris. Three-pointer. Bay pulls it in. Bay's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Now, here's Grant. A three-pointer is right on target. Well, Grant is going to have to expand his range. And how about the confidence on that jumper? Hills with it. Free throw line jump shot. Durant with a wide open look. Cans it from downtown. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Now, Cunningham. Grant outside. And he can't answer back. The three pointer offline. Nets trail by six. The three from Mills. It's rebounded by Hayes. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. The putback. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Brooklyn's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Mills passes to Durant. Driving to the basket. Claxton goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Boy, in pick-and-roll situations, Kevin Durant has every pass. The lob, the pocket pass, so pretty. Pass to Hayes. Shoots over Mills. Hayes, no good. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Brown wide open. He fired. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. KD's got his eighth assist in the game. And Hayes kicks to Cunningham. Connects from three-point range. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And here is KD following the three-pointer by Cade Cunningham. The shot's good from Hayes. And now a nine-point piston lead. Well, they're trying to establish their attack down in the paint. And make no mistake, these help their overall confidence. Durant, the pass to Harris. Over Grant. Rebounded by the Pistons. Stewart's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Nets trail by nine to the middle. Harris passes to Durant. To the inside. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now here's Bay. 
Stewart with the screen on Harris. Bay passes. Oh! <laughs> My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam King. Durant inside. He's covered by Grant. Here's Hayes. Here's Bay. And another three for Detroit. Yeah, you have to make greater effort than that defensively. You know what he can do from range. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. KD with the bucket. And likes the view from there. He, he's a strong mid-range shooter. Well, sometimes when you've got size, your release point is so high that you're going to get a good look no matter what. Now, here's Cunningham. And it's Hayes in the corner. Six on the shot clock. And Patrick Mills gets that whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Olenek is checked in for Detroit. Now, here's Cunningham. He's covered by Brown. Five to shoot. And a little kicks to Bay. And the three off target. That's trail by ten. And Grant sends it back. Well, twice on the pipes, Jeremy Grant says no, sir. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for Detroit. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And every win important, and this one will go down as win number three. And they're able to even the score of this series at a game apiece. Still, two more to go in the season series. At the line for your Pistons, Grant Jerry. First one falls for him. Diallo's checked in for the Pistons. Jackson comes in for Cunningham. And Grant drops them both. 46 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Griffin inside. Working on Grant. Shoots it. No problem on the jumper in close. And the Pistons with possession. Now here's Bay. Grant outside. There's the triple. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. Basketball. And here's Jackson. So Detroit takes this one by a big margin. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olden, this is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in as we leave you with our new balance player of the game isaiah stewart